Good morning, it's the 22nd of August and we're going live with our crypto news. So today we'll be covering the general stuff, the fact that all, everything is kind of looking up a little bit. Meme coins are certainly hot. Simon's Cat, there's been some drama over there. A little bit of DeFi opportunities and actionables. So let's dive in. So we'll, we'll run through this really fast. Bitcoin's up a little bit, Ether's up a little bit. Uh, BNB's very, very strong, and Solana's very, very strong. Well, it's not very, very strong. It's up a little bit. Now let's have a look at 24 hours. We can see Flocky has been absolutely killing it. Some other random ones in there as well, but Flocky has been doing very well. I think this relates to Cat's token for sure. I'm pretty confident with my thesis on that. Next bit of news is just more of a reminder. Remember, we're here to learn about crypto, to use dApps. By using dApps, we should be able to grow our bags pretty nicely without having to leverage trade. But this is a boring time. I keep on repeating it. I don't mean to be a broken record, but I just want to point out the simple fact that when it's boring, that's when you really, you put in more time. You, you listen to videos, you watch, so you watch videos, you jump on different uh, spaces and you just pull the information. This is where we are. That is what happened in the past. So everyone's thinking, why aren't we going up straight away? Well, we had this kind of fake out where things ran up to 200 and sold too early, too fast. And it wasn't expected. But really, we're just completely on track. It needs to coincide with politics, the election and such. Now, I had a couple of people reach out on Twitter and also in YouTube comments. They were very, very unhappy with my political like coverage. Not even like, so I'm just going to, I don't, I'm just going to point out some things. Okay. Don't at me in comments. We're just here to understand the fact that cryptos and politics, they tie together. Markets and politics are so, so important. Now, Elon's put out this. Um, this is an unofficial vote. It's 5,800 voters. You could say, um, I, I didn't even vote for this. I'm guessing uh, my assistant did, who has access to my Twitter. Um, I would have just voted for Kamala just to be funny. Uh, anyway, that's that. But for those people that are, that want like far more blue on their timeline, then all I suggest is to counter the fact that I'm just saying, maybe go with someone that's pro-crypto. That would probably be a better idea. If if crypto really matters to you, if, if there are other things that are more pressing issues, then that's fine as well. Then you can go and follow someone like this guy. I used to follow him in the previous cycle. He's really, uh, I don't want to say anything mean. Like he's a smart guy, but he's really anti-soul. And he's very left. So if you're a left, you'll love it. And he's he's tweeted this, that uh, someone on, Vi on Vice President Kamala Harris's team, Brian Nelson, says she's going to support policies that ensure. I don't like from any political side when it's not coming from the actual leader, it's coming from someone on the team. That's just not really a good thing, but you may want to follow this person. Got also a little bit of a attacked, slightly attacked, I guess, on the fact that I said Kamala's backing Biden's uh, tax plan to tax on unrealized capital gains with people with a net worth of more than $100 million. The simple fact is these sort of things, high taxes are in some countries like in Scandinavia and other parts of Europe. And when this happens, what you see is they leave. The billionaires, they leave because it's not worth them to take on risk and to create other companies. And so all you essentially see is if you target, if you properly target with these uncapitalized, these unrealized taxes, then you, you will lose those people. They'll go somewhere else. And that, you know, the UAE, Dubai, they're going to go get that kind of financial betterment. All right, more news. There's new class action against Binance and CZ. However, as XBT says, the victim who filed this is delusional. Also, CZ is coming, getting released from prison on the 29th of August. I don't know if he's allowed to, how he's going to step back into Binance itself, but I'm expecting really big things from Binance this cycle again. Now, this is a little bit of an actionable for you. I'm not going to put in the actionables, but anyone watching this, this is from Michael Bazzino. He's a friend in the Gold Coast and a creator. He and his brother are very familiar with cycles, are far more than I am, 18.6 year and the 80 year. This goes over the 80 year cycle and the fact that it's basically coinciding with the 18.6 year in 2026 is the year to look at. I don't want to spoil of this. I don't want to like tell you what's in it. Just it'll be linked below. Watch it. Well worth watching it. Now, actual Solana news. So we're just going to deep. We're going to just touch on this very briefly. Um, so Loxol is a 2x at its previous all-time high. This is mostly in DeFi protocols, of course. Two thirds of Sol supplies either natively or liquid state. This is, you know, the figure was ten percent in early twenty twenty one. That's fine. That's a true metric. There's a lot of people that have Sol sitting in their wallet that's not staked, being pretty much flatlining for a significant amount of time. Stake your Sol. Don't like even all of us watching. Maybe between us, we've got ten thousand Sol sitting in our hot wallets. I mean, it's it's not going to make a difference to this ten thousand Sol, but it does make a difference to you. And when you want to unstake it, it takes one epoch. Solana spot decks volume is doing well and 
Radium's continuing to dominate, and it's mostly meme coins. Meme coins are going to lose out probably a little bit to Tron, but they'll all come back here most likely. Magic Eden mobile app is officially live on iOS and Android, and they're celebrating with a 100k prize pool mint fest. Full details are below, are all covered here. You're welcome to jump in with this sort of thing. This, you may find you like the wallet, and if you do, fantastic. I, I use Soulflare, I'm only going to use Soulflare, but just putting this on your radar, you may want to use it, see if you win something, and then after that, maybe keep it. Maybe you're into ordinals, and if not, you can always uninstall it. The path to Patreon winner, I didn't win, maybe some of us, maybe one person watching my channel, what uh, actually did. If you did, let me know, but these are the winners. Just jump into Discord and... Uh, you'll be able to, I guess, claim a prize by opening a ticket or something like that. And this is the Crypto Class Solana calendar. So come on down to the 22nd. We've got the launch of Simon's Cat, Link Your Wallet, Bonk Dragon, Dupe Dow, like lots of actionables. This should be bookmarked like it is right here, and you should open it every day. The Jupiter Dow, just a reminder that vote is set to go live on Friday and lasts for four days. It's over the weekend. So we want to, wh whatever time it goes live on Friday, when it goes live, we want to get in and then or on Saturday, we don't want to leave it for Sunday. Uh, the previous one I missed with some wallets because I just had a bit of a confusion myself and I'm like right over this. So there's a feedback town hall as well and the vote goes live uh, on the 23rd. So the feedback town halls today. If you have a look at this, essentially, I'll be voting yes. The TLDR is simple. How working groups were being funded, it wasn't working perfectly well. So what we want to do instead is the core working group needs to get a budget, it's 150k, which is peanuts, and they'll be issuing out grants, you know, five to 10k, and then they're going to trial something. They'll come up with an idea. You know, it has to be approved, of course. If it's a terrible idea, it won't be. Like for example, the Dupe and Juice podcast, they have to put in the effort. It's their time is not going to be compensated well with like a 5k thing. But if they manage to make it work, if it adds value to the Jupiter space, then they can go ahead and actually apply for more budgets and so on. So. I'll be voting yes, but you can read the details yourself. Community Finance, remember to go and claim your community tokens from season two and also stake them. If you're going to hold it, you may as well stake them. And stake them in whatever wallet is giving you the biggest amount of boost. Or sorry, rather, it will give you the most amount of boost. So you want to use your wallet that you're using properly uh, with DeFi. So for example, with myself, it's my ledger. I mean, I've got Camino and other random token and random wallets. Don't know why I'm not connecting here, but um, basically, you go and stake your Camino, and then you get this boost, which actually ends up earning more Camino. And then the DAO will come out, and there'll be more benefits. So bullish on Camino, the price hasn't gone crazy high. It's affordable, in my opinion, and I'm just staking it. Staking it, and I'm also LPing it, as I mentioned yesterday, in this one here. It's a decent return. This is basically a bit of a stable coin at present. If it starts to go six, seven, eight cents, then impermanent loss may kind of increase. The analytics on this pool, remember, like over the last 30 days, you'd be down a percent. But if you're hodling, you'd be down a little bit more. And remember, you're earning 67% in rewards. So 67% divided by 12 months. This is over 30 days. You'd actually be considerably up. Now let's move on to Simon's Cat token. Still exceptionally bullish on this. I'm not going to lie. Uh, like Flocky, we can see Flocky's gone up. Mostly due to the speculation around Simon's Cat token. We're seeing Tron absolutely explode. with crap that I haven't even played with. So maybe there are some, some gems over there. But my experience with the Tron, um, we should see it in largest gainers. My experience with the Tron stuff, I mean, they, like, they're just rotating out, like up and down, Sundog. Here we are. Yes, you see some people that turned peanuts into like, they turn like 1.7K into 20 million. But that, that's most likely someone connected directly with Justin Sun, just as a, an opinion. But these things like, I mean, will they do well? Maybe. But in general, Tron has never done really well. It's there's been capital put in, but it's it's such a centralized system that it, it just hasn't done well. If you can get in and get out, you'll be okay. Otherwise, you want to change it up. And I and in my opinion, just stay on Solana or anything on base or BNB that's got proper planning like this. Remember the Flocky Trading Bot competition? I'm gonna start using this for the first three days, just buying and selling cat. I've got a tutorial on how to set it up uh, because then you'll be airdrop some cat tokens. Uh, it may not be plus EV. It may be. Who knows? KuCoin's listing it. Some of these exchanges have like special like giveaways and, and trading bonuses, but I, I don't really care about those sort of things because normally it's just the big traders that will capitalize on those. XC is also listing it as well. And Bing X is as well. 
at 2 p.m. So in one hour ish. Now here are some screenshots from Discord. If anyone from the Flocky community is actually watching this, I was banned from Discord. Now the reason why I was banned from Discord is because this raise total, this went up. We we're supposed to have 223,000. It's gone up again. And it was like on zero dollars. The website was DDoS. We couldn't actually go and click for those in the champion tier. It was supposed to be like $300 that we could go in. This is at 1 a.m. or something like that. And then suddenly it just went up and people were interacting directly with the contract, which I don't know how to do, but I found the contract and I posted it because someone said, how are they doing it? And I said, they're interacting directly with the contract. You can just check it yourself and BSC scan and then I was banned. So just some mod that was just stupid or if not stupid, just some mod that made a mistake, not understanding that there's not a scam link or anything. I literally just copied this aspect and said, that's what they're interacting with. So let me back in. That way I can cover the project. Anyway, um, they apparently found only 74 unique wallets that tried to game the system. Fine. I thought it would be more. They went with a new system of $300 that would let in another 743 new users, which is great. But then it messed up again. And they have kind of canceled this for now. But they said they will make it right for you. I don't know how they're going to do it. I mean, the actual launch is coming out. So a bit disappointing, to be honest, but there's a lot of good things happening. So what can you do? The other thing is this is coming out 2 p.m. People are going to ask me, what should I do? Should I buy some whatever? I guess this, the the good the good thing to do is go to Pancake or go into FlockyBot, go and try and buy some, a small amount. With Flocky, we can't do like a, a max a max bid or whatever. Uh, we can set our slippage. We're going to be able to calculate how much we're going to get, but probably it will be botted hard, in which case you'll probably be absolutely screwed. Like I wouldn't set my slippage past 10% and we may be buying a pump, a, a complete and utter pump, but then we may do well. Like we can have, we can see this is what the price per token is, right? So if this is a 10X, if we were to go to PancakeSwap, uh, just because people are going to ask this, we may as well quickly cover it. And we, we find the cat token, which isn't live yet. Uh, let's just say it, it is this one. It might not be. We connect our wallet and we're going to go ahead and let's say it's like we put in one BNB and it's going to tell us how many tokens we want. We then have to work out just with a calculator on the side because I don't think limit's going to work under pressure. Um, we can try it though, but I don't, th I think it's just get in and get out. We need to work out what are we willing to spend initially. And I would say kind of maximum, just straight off the bat, probably you want to go for like, uh, like if we take away 278 and just write one, that would be like the max that I'd be willing to go with. You might want to go with, keep that zero there and then change this to five or six. So you're kind of playing double, but don't just necessarily don't just change it completely and then it goes through at a swap for a swap rate of like that, which is, you know, a uh, multiple and then you get screwed because it goes up and then it goes down. We'll have to see how it goes. You have to just do it live. That's the uh, unfortunate thing. All right. Next bit of news. Bonk. Make sure to vote for your favorite and Miss Bonk before round two ends. So we had a round one. Now we've got round two. If you like any of these, go for it. But just do it anyway in case it gets you another a Bonk Dragon thing. Go and vote for this lady down here. She's She's lagging. Let's let's get them up. I don't know who this person is or why she saw it so pretty. This is in, this is black and white. This is in monochrome. Go and go and respect these these other people. Get these girls up with some more votes if you want. Round two. Go in here. Connect your wallet. Let's just see if we if we can do it quickly. Verify. And this is her. Danby Kim. Vote or vote for whoever you want. Vote. It's not started yet. All right. So we're still in round one, I guess. Round one has ended. Round two ends. Why can't I vote? I don't understand. Do I have to, I've claimed this ticket. Round two starts now, vote for the final three. Okay, we've still got uh, time. Try one last, we're gonna have to go with another contestant. Well, see if it works for you, let me know. Otherwise, I'll ping someone in Bonk. With Bonk rewards, if it has expired, go and claim it or relock it. I don't know if there's anything with mine. We'll check after the live stream. And also lock one Bonk, one million Bonk for 12 months before the end of this month to get the latest Bonk Dragon attribute. We'll add this to the calendar if it's not already in there, but do this now. Do it today. Bet on Drift, there's a new prediction market. Will the Fed uh, cut rates by 50 basis points or more this September? I have no idea, so I wouldn't bet. The other thing is just remember, Hedgehog has been around for quite some time. They just haven't got the same traction. The UI is probably not as nice and whatnot, though, but play there as well if you can. If you're going to break and you're wor worried about the cost of things, then I get you, but have a look at this. This, uh, goes over food and I watched the whole thing really well done. Basically $10 Singaporean, which is $7.60, everything in the in my video in the whole case. 
And you can even get like a Michelin star uh, meal for, for six uh, if you eat pork. I mean, this, this is crazy. Oh. This is where I'll be eating these kind of things. Check out this video. It's worth it. And then, of course, go to Breakpoint. Are you coming to Breakpoint? Let me know. Other thing we've got here, it's just there's a, there was a scam token that rug pulled McDonald's Instagram and it pumped up and it came down. Obviously, just just be just be mindful out of this more so with your friends that are getting to space i'm pretty sure everyone watching this channel wouldn't have jumped into this let's get into the actionables so first one download magic eden wallet on mobile and mint dog with hat there's a 100k prize pool use the flocky trading bot to buy some cat after 2 p.m utc today watch my video on flocky trading bot if you're not sure how to set it up if you like if you use kucoin or emmy you can go and load up some dollars in there and that way you can just go and set limit orders and if they feel they feel if you get your entry finish round two vote and miss bonk if it works this could apply for bonk dragon and stake 1 million bonk with bonk rewards by the end of this month it does apply for bonk dragon airdrop actionables researchers now said hold a minimum of hundred dollars of flocky or bnb or eth or directly in buy probably the best uh, move. Deposit into Camino's due to Sol, Sol Media Pool, lend USDC on NX Finance, and add and verify your Sol wallet to grasp before August 23rd. There's one more thing that I want to show and cover just to keep everybody up to date. And we'll go back to Camino. When you're entering into Camino positions, there will be times when it's worthwhile and there's massive incentives. When the incentives go away, that's when we want to pull them out. I'm going to start having someone check them, and when they go out, we're going to put into the calendar, you may want to remove something. As an example, Cloud and INF, this had a very decent APR because it was incentivized for, I guess, 30 days. It has now run out of incentivization. I like Cloud. I like INF. Sanctum, I think, has a major product market fit. We'll have to see how the token does. I'm, I'm counting on it doing quite well, but I wouldn't be playing in this liquidity pool for 11%. If it's boosting rewards, yes, I would be there. But just for the met points alone, no, I wouldn't be there. We can have a look at the analytics ourselves if we want. But when we start to factor in, uh, this is down compared to the token pair huddle, it's fine, but we're also getting a, a big boost. However, if we're not getting the boost in the APR, then no, I don't want to play. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks very much for tuning in and I'll catch you tomorrow.